Day two, had arrived, we told you. When we ended it, that this would be the next thing. Well, you guys saw a little driving, but we're here. This is uh, Impulse that is behind us. We're actually here about a half hour before the park opens up, so that's actually pretty cool. We're going to get the all-day wristbands, and then we're gonna ride rides and show off this entire place. This is one of the coolest, oldest parks in America. You guys get to come along with us. Some October fun for you guys. You ever come out to this park? Take a look at this. Get signs and benches like this all over the place. Before this park even opens, it is so quiet. It is so beautiful. And by the way, yes, they even have pigs you can stuff trash into. This bad boy later is one we're definitely going to be riding. This is the Grand Carousel. This one here is the 2018 Golden Ticket Award. It's absolutely cool because on this one, over here, you actually get to reach out and try and grab a brass ring. I actually think it's... Actually, it's over there. You can't really see it right now, but we'll see it later. This shows you how epic some of the flooding has been in this park before. It's a bridge that goes over top. Yeah, this sign right here? Yeah, it's not a joke. That's how high the water was in this park in those years. To the point, I would have drowned. Here's one of the rarities that you see in amusement parks anymore. It's a mini golf course, which I'm sure this one will do later. <laughs> All right, so this is not like your typical everyday amusement park. Here it's old school, we do tickets. And, but they also do wristbands and hand stamps. Everything comes with a different price. There's availabilities for ones that want to ride coasters or if you just want to do the basic rides. But, like I said, they also do tickets. And, um, can you go grab the tickets from Dad real quick so we can show them? Sure. 
or you get these. these. Now you can buy these in different books, $20, $10, $5, and you can also use them at uh, some of the food areas. They work just like money, and they do not work with the miniature golf course. Nope. That's a completely separate deal. So, but yeah, so there you go, and it's kind of a fun day, and... It starts now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Phoenix, you're such a beautiful, beautiful roller coaster. I love your out and backness. And then, of course, you get a pretty cool chance to test it out or take pictures. This is a 2018 Golden Ticket Award coaster for best wooden coaster. My namesake. Yeah. It's also Laura's namesake when she wrestles. <laughs> okay, so we just got off Phoenix. It was a great coaster. It was. Um, they slowed it down a little bit, but that's because we haven't rode it in a few years, so it seemed a little slower. Yeah. But it's a good coaster nonetheless. Uh, we were walking in through what I think is like the middle of the park. It, you can get lost in this park very quickly. <laughs> There's so many twists and turns. You still wind up going back where you know where you're at, but it's still, yeah. They've got a laser maze. This bad boy is their world famous haunted mansion. Uh, this has won a lot of awards for them for best dark ride and whatnot. This is the this is the Laura is scared of out of her mind ride and will not do it. <laughs> This is one of the cool things too, I uh, like they got these rotating kind of seating areas where the uh, roof rotates on you. It's all rotated yes. by water power too. Yep. Turn your wheel. Keep your foot down on the pedal and turn the wheel. There you go. <laughs> All right, so we just got off Impulse. This thing is beautiful. If you love coasters, you have to come to Knobles and ride this coaster. It is incredible. I mean, the going up the hill, then going down the hill, the scare factor is there perfectly. The speed is there, it's nice and tight. We're about to get dive buzzed here in a second. There it goes. I mean, it's perfectly speed for, where they put this and the spot they put this at, yeah, you need to come to Knobles. This thing is great. Yeah. Great. So the park is slowly coming back to life. We got caught in rain playing play golf. Miniature golf. There is a miniature golf course here at Knobles. It does cost extra. It's not horrible. Cute little 18 holes of golf. And you need to have some fun. It's all his tradition. The other 
tradition we're doing is we're headed over to get some pizza. And this There's pizza is like food. the best pizza in here. Um, we got caught in rain, so that's why we haven't really done much in the way of filming. We, we have we have read, read quite a bit, you know. We we're, it's not like we're not. We've yeah. Done, we've done Phoenix twice. We've done Impulse. We've done Twister, which we call Main Street Revisited. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I did Flying Turns, which is the bobsled style ride. That was really cool. Really, really like that. We'll have to, when, you know what we'll do is we'll give Knobles a, you know, a, a thumbs up. There is a point of view that we'll actually link in the description below with this video. Oh yeah, this, so this you guys is an incredible. An idea. It's not, it's a trackless roller coaster. This is an incredible park. There is no if, and, or but about it. <laughs> um, we're getting set for food and then heading out of this place because it's been hot all day long and it's been a long day. Bring we'll finish pizza. this video either back at the house or back at the hotel. Bring me pizza. Future us. Two days later. <laughs> After it had been such a hot day and we had all taken in so much sun, by the time we got back to both the house and the hotel... He was burned. Evan was burned. Me, not so much. I'm kind of surprised about that. I'm actually kind of tan now, too. It's kind of cool. Yeah, but we <laughs> crashed hard. And that, it was raining. Oh, my God. The rain we had coming back in the Wham Sport was... Wow. <laughs> yeah, we had one that literally, like, whitewashed everything. We couldn't see, like, two feet in front of us. Fun time. And then the next day, as we're driving home... We were like 15 miles out from the PA Ohio border, halfway loose. through Ohio, and it was just on and off showers that you dropped down to like 55 miles an hour every yeah. time that we uh, got into one of those. So we waited until today. I'm actually almost finished with part two of the shooting, which you guys uh, just, just watched. I was going to say, you guys just finished the one part where I said we were going to end it there, so we had to end it here at the house. It was a good vacation, though. It was a good, really good vacation. It kind of sucks, though, because we had another set of plans to go along with said trip, but issues, weather kind of kept weather, us from doing it. But it's okay. mostly. It's okay. You know, it's not, it's not a huge, huge deal. Um, what I would like to do, though, is I would love, 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 love for these guys to see Wham Sport in the winter. Yeah, we're gonna try and see what we can uh, what we can get done on that portion of it. But of course, also you know, coming up here, and I think it's literally we're a week away. Little League World Series starts up, which is a good thing we got out of town when we did because when Little League hits town, it is a whole other universe of craziness. Yeah, it it does. It gets pretty packed there. And preparations are just they were just going and going and going. Of course, you saw. In the first part, uh, the uh, prepping for the uh, Little League Classic, which I believe will happen the weekend in between the world the, when the World Series actually begins. Because the World Series is now a two-week event, the weekend. Um, I'm not sure who's facing. I meant to look that up, too. I forget. <laughs> yeah. But it's kind of cool because it's a minor league park with these guys that are... Uh, major league players and they're coming and they're you know they're kind of remembering their their days down so yeah right but yeah and so. it kind of sucks. I wanted to get them down to the four corners too. there's a portion of Williams Sport that I really really love um, it's the corner of Third and Market Street which is the bridge that leads across the South Williams Sport which leads into the Little League Complex they have a Little League cool little setup with bronze statues and whatnot and the news just reported today brought the bat back so that's Good. back at the corner very so. cool so this is done um we got a few other things down the line we got to make it back to the point because how weekend stuff is already up and out so that's crazy we it's need not to even go September yet yeah we need to go and uh take a look at that so we're done thank you guys for watching make sure you like share and subscribe we're going back to watching some new japan and finishing <laughs> off this so we'll see you guys soon